Hi Pisces, this is Angela with Mystic Moon. Welcome to your May 24th through the 30th reading. This week's reading, we're going to be focusing on messages and signs from your spirit team, your spirit guides. So just take what resonates and get rid of what doesn't and everything will be listed down below. Let's go ahead and get started. What is your overall theme, Pisces, for this week? Let's take a look. Overall theme. Ooh, we have the rooster, okay? So it could be that uh, some of you guys are in Chinese astrology, the rooster, or dealing with a rooster. But this is just somebody who's talkative and outspoken. They're amusing, plus they're popular. They're attractive and striking, but they can sometimes be annoying and cocky. So this could be you, or this could be someone that you're dealing with this week. All right, so let's see the spirit that is connected to this. Okay, we have two. <laughs> this is protect yourself from this type of energy here. We have somebody who's trying to kind of latch on to you, you guys. And the reason why is because maybe you're very freaking attractive. You're very striking. You're very outspoken. You're very charming, etc. This is telling you, though, that there is something for you to guard yourself against because someone wants to attach to you or somebody is obsessed with you. So for whatever reason, this message wants to come through. Your spirit guides are trying to protect you, and especially at night, okay? So protect yourself at night. Maybe your dreams, somebody's coming into your dreams, and you're just not wanting this energy anymore. So maybe do some sort of ritual or some sort of protection. Do your research about what can protect you while you sleep, okay? What else? Yeah, we have the spirit realm. Look at this. So orbs of light. So you've got orbs of light that you might be seeing this week. Pay attention to the colors that you're seeing with orbs of light. Look it up. It means something. There's special messages for you, but you guys have the spirit realm with you always, but there's extra spirit guides with you trying to protect you from whatever this is. Okay. And it doesn't mean that you guys are going to be possessed or anything like that, but there's someone that has either a cord attached to you or they have expectations or maybe even traumas attached to you. And the best thing that you could do is just really try to clear these energies, maybe even do some sort of a um, like a cord clearing meditation or visualization. This will really help to kind of get this person's energy off of you. They're trying to plug into you. That's what I'm getting here. All right. And it could even be your own attachment to this person as well. So you're being asked to do this. Yeah. Look at that. You're asked to take back control in your life. Root chakra. There's something that's rooted, like interesting root, like rooster rooted in um, and it could be you. It could be that you are really feeling like you need to, to, to like be the person to do something here. You need to be the person to, you know, lead. You're very outspoken. I'm the leader here. I'm in control. And I'm getting here that you're meant to take back control of whatever this is. And if someone's trying to control your life or control your energy in some way, you do need to protect yourself and you need to take back leadership and take back your power from this individual. So whether this is work-related, personal, um, an enemy, frenemy, whatever, you need to take back control. That's what I'm getting, Pisces. So I hope that that makes sense. Let's go ahead and get some tarot here just to kind of get some more details. Yeah, there's an imprisonment. Maybe some of you guys are having a difficult time getting someone out of your head. And the reason why is because they have attached themselves to you. So it's very difficult. So this is another reason why you need to do this clearing. Mm -hmm. We've got Aries energy. This is taking back your power. Okay, you got to take back your power, but this person could be very, very intense. And again, they've attached themselves to you. If you're becoming, like if you're sexually addicted to someone, there is some kind of uh, like a, like a ritual or releasing or a cleansing that you need to do because someone is attached. Very difficult for you to even, I'm getting function. Yeah, you need to release yourself. You need to release yourself from whatever this is because this energy in a way, it's kind of like now taking your power away. It's feeding off of you. Someone is feeding off of you, you guys, energetically. And this is not to scare you. Just clear it out. Ask The spirit is assisting you for one and protecting you this week. But take it a step further. Maybe the new, um, sorry, not the new moon, the full moon, um, you're in your power of this energy. Take back control of your life. Cut these cords, whatever this is, clear it out because it's taking away from your life force. Someone is feeding off of your life force or they're obsessed with you or you're obsessed with them. You need to take back control and power of your life. Detach. Last month, last one. Yeah, see, I'm telling you, you got to cleanse. So sage yourself, take a sea salt bath, 
energetically do a visualization, cord cutting ritual, whatever this is, you got to clean your energy, make room for new energy, new mindsets, new relationships, new adventures, and new beginnings. You can't really begin new unless you get rid of whatever this is, this old energy, it's got to go. You got, you've got to release this person or you've got to release this person for, for you. Meaning if they're attached to you, you've got to clip them off. You got to take imaginary scissors all over yourself and just cut whatever attachments and cords that they have connected to you. And you guys just take what resonates for you because some people are very sensitive when it comes to cord cutting. So, you know, you can use the term transmuting this energy. I'm transmuting it from this stage to a different state, a more healing state. I let go with love and light. It doesn't have to be abrupt. Okay. So just Again, take what resonates for you. But I'm getting here that you got to take your power back because whatever you're attached to, it's not good for you. It's toxic. Or whatever this person's trying to do, it's not good. You need to release yourself. Okay? So I hope that you guys um, resonate with that and use this full moon ritual, this full moon in Sagittarius to cleanse and make room for something new to expand your horizons. All right, you guys, take care. Bye-bye.